Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here with me today. This is going to be a romance reading to see who is coming towards you and who is about to ask you out and present you an offer of love. So we'll see who this person is and how they're going to come forward. And um, this can be for any sign watching. So this is a collective message. If you've been brought here, then there's obviously some kind of romantic energy around you and someone is about to come forward. So uh, we'll see who's coming up. Thank you everyone for being here with me. So thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Of course, feel free to join my YouTube fan by subscribing. Otherwise, let's suss this out and see who's about to ask you out. Let's get some messages from um, about who this person is. Okay. Definitely straight away I'm getting a vibe that it's someone who's been very back and forth or that has been in and out of your life before. Uh, it's someone that keeps coming back to you and it's someone who is at this moment very deeply confused about where your connection is and I feel like there's another third party energy. You've got that three of, um, you've got that three of swords here. Okay, so there's two aces next to this people so I'm definitely getting this some sort of love triangle. Uh, or it's someone that was always in the picture or has always been in the background, maybe waiting for you to break up with someone, um, maybe waiting for the right time, waiting for them to finish a certain stage in their life. Definitely this vibe. There's a new kind of energy, so I don't feel like it's someone you, you've got an extensive history with. I feel like there might have been a, a presence in your life fairly recently. Okay, something with this number three keeps coming up. So this could be someone who's a life path number three, someone who's born the third year, a third month of the year, uh, someone who has the number three in their chart. Uh, Sign-wise, we've got a Virgo, Pisces, or an Aries um, that's coming through. So this person might have an Aries, Pisces, or Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, something that's prominent in their chart. This is the person who's coming through here. Um, I'm getting some sort of sneaky behavior with this person. So this is someone who is potentially maybe has a history of being a bit sneaky or you've sort of talked to this person on the sly. You've been sneaky together. You might have sort of been tiptoeing around each other. Okay, Seven of Swords, it can be like a deceptive thing. So I'm, I'm thinking it's someone who might have who might have sort of confused you with their words before or said something with their words before. Um so if they're not doing the deceiving and they're in a different relationship, not exactly available just yet, but will ask you out anyway, they might be sort of pushing the boundaries here with you, seeing if you're okay with not being exclusive or if you're okay in being an open, in open relationship. They might be sort of testing, testing the boundaries here a little bit. Um, wouldn't be too surprised. Knight of Wands is here, so I'm getting this is a bit of a risk-taking person, okay? They like to live life on the edge, kind of like this impulsive vibe next to this person. Um, if that's not the case, I feel like they've recently come out of a relationship and someone else's energy is still next to them. Possibly I connect the divorce or separation card with the judgment card, so they might be sort of figuring some things out here. And maybe that's why they have the Three of Swords, because they're still, they could be in a place of healing from a previous relationship, and they might be wanting to take it slow, okay? Judgment equals process, so they might still be processing some things that have happened, um, that have happened fairly recently. Um, especially anything to do with like, because the Ace of Swords is a, is a, could be like a struggle or a battle or needing courage. I'm definitely picking up divorce vibes or someone who is uh, disassociating or separating from another relationship because we do have the Hermit. The Hermit is, it's a number nine energy. So this is why I think it's someone who has ended a relationship. So it's not all bad. It doesn't mean it's someone who's deceitful. Um, if that's if they're separating, I'm wondering if they've been deceived. Okay, this is this is someone who's been hurt before, so I wouldn't be too surprised if this is someone who wants to take it slow. And the reason why they've been back and forth is because sometimes you know they're really into you. They can't help their feelings. They're deeply attracted. They're really into you. You for them are coming up as the sun, whether you're in Aries or not. You're coming up as this their light in their life right now. So you know you make them laugh. You've got a positive energy. You're bringing something to them, and it's making them drawn to you. But then they come up with this, oh, they've been hurt before they've been scarred. And that's why they keep ping-ponging 
between that two of two of pentacles energy they're back and forth they haven't made up their mind just yet but i still feel like they're working on themselves they're trying to make things happen um we've got a couple of pages and a night so i feel like this is someone that could be around your age or someone even possibly a little bit younger they might be coming from further afar okay they could live a, a while away from you they might be on holiday right now they could come from a different country could even be like from abroad like living abroad or working abroad um, and they're coming in with that energy here so you know three of ones but again number three is following um but i think something is going to come of this like three is quite a significant number it's about births um, life death beginning middle endings and it talks about a journey it's a tripartite so it does talk about a big journey or an important journey so something will come from this them being a presence in your life, them asking you out, wanting to take things further. There's definitely news and communication that's coming very, very soon. Um, so I'm getting like a message, angels and messengers. So you might be getting their email, a text, a voicemail. They might try to call you. There's an attempt at communication here. So if this person is in the hot energy, so they'll probably love bombing you right now, coming on quite strongly. If they're in that uncertain energy right now, it could be that they've sort of been in no contact or they've been slow to respond. There might be some incoming messages coming through here as well. And it's a very like open and honest message. We've got the bird here. So uh, Gemini vibes, bird is the messenger of the Zodiac. Um, but look, it's definitely coming through because I feel like they want to make something work something emotionally is is pulling them to you and there's you know i associate the hermit with like feeling lonely so i'm wondering if then when they're not contacting you or when you're not together when you're not dating and having fun with each other even if they might have someone else the hermit is a lonely figure so i'm wondering if at times when this person isn't with you they feel alone like I'm telling you, you just bring them this kind of light that they possibly haven't felt in a very long time or since their last relationship. And, you know, he's following the light here. So, yeah, you're definitely on their mind. But, you know, let's be patient here. There might be some things they have to work through. They've got a process. You know, there might be another job in the way, another relationship, a, a divorce, a settlement, um, some healing. And that all takes time. Um, it's definitely coming up here though. For some of you, I feel like you work with this person or you know them through the community or through children. Like you might be parents of children at the same school. You might be at the same university. You might be learning things together. Children equals learning. Uh, again, it could indicate like a, a more recent person, a more recent connection, someone very youthful. They're playful. They're younger. They're maybe not as experienced when it comes to love or whatever it is that they've been doing. For some of you, you work with this person, you have a business or a professional relationship, so you might have used their services, they might have uh, worked for you, you might have been introduced to this person through a work friend, um, or a friend that has children even. That's, that's quite prominent. Let's see what else, what else is coming up. Okay, strong Taurian vibes, uh, Venus energy. So they're going to do something very romantic or take you or ask you out to a very beautiful venue. Um, you know, this Taurian energy is like luxury. It's it's quite like a high-end kind of energy. So this is someone pulling out all the stops, you know, picking you up, um, getting you flowers, taking you to a beautiful venue, someone where people really dress up. I'm getting that this person wants to show off to you or really wants to impress you. So there's a showiness that's coming. Look, they might not be like overly showy, okay, but they're doing it for you, okay? It, it might even be something out of their comfort zone. Might be taking you to a place that's really pricey or asking you out to a very fancy, schmancy bar. You know, there's something that they're doing and it's to impress you. Um, I get that this person has been dying to be physically intimate as well. A lot of nudity. Um, I've got the devil card. This person, you know, they're very, very sexually attracted strong chemistry, strong sexual tension. There might be someone who's sort of impressing you, maybe maybe to get you into bed here. Um, but there's an equal attraction here with the devil. So it's definitely coming through in the cards, more attraction with the queen of wands. Pay attention to their body language because 
it's really going to reflect um, a strong physical attraction that they have towards you and openness um, that they have towards you. So that's definitely um, that's definitely something to look for here. So someone who's going to spend, someone who wants to impress. Um, I feel like it's it's a sophistication. It's a very sophisticated day, or it will feel like a very sophisticated kind of energy. Um, and I think I'm getting like they'll want to tell people about you, or like they might put it up on their Instagram or Facebook. They might even take a picture of you. You'll take pictures of each other, or even tag you in something like a location, uh, or tag you in like an Insta shot. I wouldn't be surprised because the star card is like this person wants the world to know that they're with you. Or that they're on a date with you. This is counting their lucky stars. So this is someone who feels like, who feels very lucky, okay, to be taking you out, asking you out, being with you. Um, but it's someone who could be quite territorial. Queen of Wands is territory. So it's someone who wants others to know that they're sort of exclusive with you. So it could be just a date, might be very early days. Um, but it's like, you know, I wouldn't be su too surprised if they sort of want to lock you down. Um, and want anyone who's like online on their Insta stories or whatever, they want um, they want this person to uh, they want everyone else to know that they're with you type thing. Um, I'm also getting for some of you. I feel like there's something about a sweet, like a sentimental touch. Six of Cups. You might be going somewhere where you're very familiar. So it might be somewhere where you went when you first hooked up, where you first met. It might be a place where you used to go to when you were younger. You're a child. It's something significant to your past, and they've either caught on and will remember the place, or they'll purposely go out of their way to organize to take you out somewhere where it's super sentimental to you. Possibly even them, but it's like a sense of nostalgia with the Six of Cups. It's very romantic though. But there's a history, there's something about a place that tugs at your heartstrings because it's it's important to you or was important to you once upon a time. Could be the both of you, maybe one of you, but definitely that Six of Cups is here. Um, but it's a very like, there could be a very specific sweet or thoughtful gesture that this person will do. Um, and it's coming from a genuine place, okay? It's coming from a place of purity, children of purity. So... If it's coming from that Six of Cups, you are obviously activating a very sentimental energy within this person, whether you intentionally mean to do this or not. It's coming up to them. Uh, it's coming up for them. So obviously it's something very, very important. But they'll definitely be trying to present, uh, present themselves very well, really, really trying to impress you. Um, I'm getting that you might not be as interested in them as at first or they right now their interest levels are higher than yours and that's okay but I'm getting a bit of like chasing and they might be doing doing more of the chasing the impressing following up especially like I said if they're in that energy where they're love bombing you and it's their feelings are super super strong then you're going to see them really pursue you but in other cases it could be like I said, they're just coming into their own now and they'll come back into the picture and then you'll sort of take it from there. Um, either way, there's there's a potential here. There's something that's going to come of this and it's not just physical. We've got that Taurus Capricorn energy. So they're definitely sort of wanting something more stable. They're in that earth energy. Um, and when they ask you out, I feel like this, this person has intentions for it to be something more. Um, like I said, yeah, okay, they might be really super attracted and, you know, this is just a bonus for them, but it's not the whole thing. They're wanting more depth and more love and more romance. But like I said, there's a very slow and steady energy. In fact, they've got all the earth signs, Capitaurus and Virgo that showed up in this reading. So definitely they are more, grant, more grounded. They're trying to look at things in a practical sense, like your compatibility, your availability, what your values are, what your future looks like, what you want it to look like. So they're really trying to take in all these big things into consideration. And I like that because that's like this person is thinking about the big picture and I don't get a sense that they're a time waster. Unless they've seriously hurt you before or like really were back and forth just in a not, not a good way. Um, I get overall that they mean business, that they do want something serious. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out for you. So you'll have to keep me updated. Um, but I do appreciate 
you watching. So thank you everyone so, so much for tuning in. And I do hope to be in touch again very soon. So stay, um, stay tuned on the channel. All the best and bye for now.